Hey guys, this is Kaijin Hunter. This is my video covering my top 5 favorite switch axes in Monster Hunter World. I haven't done a tutorial on it, but trust me, it is a blast to play. Now before we jump in, know that it's much easier to get into an amped state with Dragon than Exhaust and Power Elemental as Stage 2, and Power and all the other ones like Paralysis File are the slowest to go into an amp state. Amp state adds additional hits to your attack, so this is actually a really important thing to explaining why I choose the switch axes that I did. Honestly, number five, number four are pretty much equal in my eyes. The first one up is the Jagras Switch Axe. Now this one is an exhaust file. It's the only one I believe in the game. Exhaust again is the second tier in speed on getting to an amp state, which means you're gonna be doing more damage with your sword. Um, it's got good attack. Um, you're gonna need handicraft with this thing. Um, it's got a level three slot and a level two slot. So you can go ahead and put uh, the non-elemental boost on there and still have level three slot to play with and it also comes with the ability to augment it three times. Considering how easy it is to make and all the different stuff it can do, this thing is amazing. Now, you're not gonna wanna be using the free element on this thing, which will unlock sleep. Just go ahead and keep it as an exhaust and just go crazy on monsters and hit him in the head. Next up is the Baroth Switch Axe. This is another one in which you get a element, sort of say a status on the file type, but because of the actual element being hidden on the axe mode, you can use this also with the non-elemental boost and you get the power boost in both modes, both the axe and the sword. This scene has really good attack. You're gonna to wanna to use this thing with handicraft as well. Um, minus percent, 20% affinity, but not a huge deal. Um, a level two slot, a level one slot, defense boost and paralysis. I don't know if you guys ever tried doing paralysis on a switch axe, but it is nuts. Because not only do you hit a lot, especially if you use that mantle, um, you can get in a lot of damage if a monster isn't able to move. Just go with the sword and just go nuts on the face, then empt it all with a super amp charge and you are going to be feeling pretty good. And this thing can be augmented three times as well. For number three, I do have to give it to Nergigante. Nergigante doesn't require any handicraft. It's got high attack power, it's got that high elder seal which is really good. It's a power file type and it gets a slot as well and one augmentation. Now the reason why this thing is really good is because it's just really well balanced and the fact is, is that if you're not having to worry about handicraft you can then use other skills like evade distance extender or evasion or attack boosting skills earplugs all that different kind of stuff so if you're looking for a weapon that has a lot of freedom the nergigante is definitely the place to go and coming in at number two is the bone switch axe called the Power Smasher 2. This thing has 665 attack, which is pretty decent. Um, you can extend that blue, which you're gonna wanna do. It's got positive affinity out of the box. It's got Elder Seal average. It's got a level three slot, which you can play with a defense boost. And it's got 420 on file type for the weapon. Now this is on the file, not on the ax. So you can use this thing with the non-elemental boost to raise the attack power on both modes. And it can be augmented three times. Now, again, dragon file type is really special in that it takes almost no time for this thing to get into an amp state, which means you're not gonna need to focus on this thing. You're gonna be going in amp state almost all the time. One combo is more than you need. Check this out. Like on the left-hand side, the dragon file type, it's already done, it's in an amp state. You don't even have to use a circle bind attacks, you can get away with, with just the triangle if you wanted to. Here I am, again, not even a full combo and I'm already in this state. And of course, what that uh, mode does is it adds an extra hit based on your raw attack, which really just raises your DPS overall. So it may not be the most powerful attack, but the fact that you can always be in an amp state is definitely a selling point that you can't ignore. And while we love balance, I gotta say the most powerful attacking weapon has to be number one, which is the Diabolos Axe of Demons. Not only does it have a really cool name, it's got insanely high attack. You must be using this thing with handicraft. If you are lucky, unlike me, and you have the protective polish decoration, this thing is gonna be even more crazy. Now, of course, you do not wanna use this thing with uh, free element. You wanna make sure you use it with the non-elemental boost to get an additional 10% attack power, and you can augment, and I definitely recommend you checking out the health augment if you haven't already, because it's great. And to top all things off, this is a power file type, and you even get a defense boost of plus 15. Like, seriously, this weapon is nuts. Okay, and now on to two honorable mentions. The first one has to go to Teostra. I love Teostra's castle. It's got an awesome design with that crown on top of sort of like that shield in the middle there. Um, it's got blast element, which I absolutely adore. You do need to use this thing with handicraft. If you got protective polish, even better. 
Um, it doesn't come with any slots, any defense boosts, only one augmentation, but it's a power foul type. It just, come on, blast on a switch axe is really fun. Um, and a good design really does go a long way when all these weapons are pretty much viable in the end game anyways. And the last one, I am not lucky enough to get this theme, but if Call of Taroth returns, there is the ability to get the Taroth Axe Paralysis, 735, just a little bit of handicraft, and this thing goes even higher in blue sharpness, 450 Paralysis, okay, so definitely use this with free element. You get a plus three defense boost, it's a power file type, and you can augment it once. This thing is insane. It's definitely one of my favorite switch axes in the game. Perhaps my most favorite, I don't know because I don't have it. Um, but stat wise and on paper, this thing is just going to be really fun to play with. So again, if Call of Taroth comes back and you're farming it, make sure to keep your eye out for this one if you're playing switch axe. And that's that. Now, of course, there's a lot of really good elemental switch axes, which I didn't mention because this is sort of like an all around top five video. But go ahead and let us know down in the comments below which ones you think are really good and worth making. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, happy hunting.